the dissonance between first look and first wheel turn was jarring. Alfa Romeo had chosen a suitably hip venue in which to showcase the coupe that will mark the brand's honest-to-God return to the U.S. market, a graffiti-festooned warehouse housing a boutique furniture company in San Francisco's Mission District. The curvilinear sports car proved a lovely stylistic counterpoint to its concrete and metal backdrop while feeling perfectly synced with the eye-watering square footage prices of the environs. Where the young, rich, beautiful people gather, the 2015 Alfa Romeo 4C will be a star. And wherever they drive, expect things to get pretty loud. No sooner had I doubled over, dropped into the driver's seat, and fired to life the Alfa's utterly raucous little 1.7-liter engine, did the symphony of the 4C begin. An introductory note of an inevitable chin scrape as I pulled out of the hipster parking lot and into the street was quickly followed by the uncivilized racket of the engine warming up with only wafer-thin glass to filter the hubbub just behind my head. At a cold idle, the sound isn't unlike what I'd imagine it would be like to live inside of a Volkswagen TDI engine bay. Thankfully, as traffic cleared and the city streets turned swiftly into undulating coastal roads, the experiential delta between hard-throb looks and project car manner started to shrink. Unlike the last half was to be sold en masse on our shores, this is no beautiful boulevardier. What the 4C is, however, is Hot Hell's own driver's car. Last year, newly minted Infinity PR maestro, and former Autoblog European editor, Matt Davis had the cheek to call the 4C a baby 458. That's an awfully powerful endorsement for a $55,000 featherweight rocking a mid-mounted Turbo 4, but the setting of the bar so high wasn't without just cause. Despite gaining a few hundred pounds worth of thicker carbon fiber, heavier U.S. spec airbags, standard AC and audio equipment and the like, the handsome Alfa Coupe really does live up to its Italian sports car roots.